हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग टू एवरीवन माय नेम इज आशीष एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आर स्टॉक जिनी यूट्यूब चैनल एंड फ्रॉम टुडे ऑनवर्ड्स आई विल स्टार्ट डूइंग एनालिसिस आई विल ट्राई टू डू इट ऑन डेली बेसिस बट आई एम नॉट श्योर दैट इफ आई विल बी एबल टू बिकॉज ऑफ बिजी स्केड्यूल आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ आई एम एबल टू मेक डेली वीडियोज बट येस आई विल ट्राई टू मेक एज मैनी एज एनालिसिस वीडियो सो दैट इट कैन हेल्प यू टू डू द लाइव ट्रेडिंग एज वी हैव स्टार्टेड अ प्रोग्राम वेर वी हेल्प विद द लाइव एनालिसिस यू मस्ट बी अवेयर दैट आई ऑल्सो शेयर सम एनालिसिस ऑन टेलीग्राम दैट इज अ लाइव एनालिसिस एंड आई शेयर द लाइव मूवमेंट दैट वॉट कैन बी द वॉट कुड बी द पॉसिबिलिटीज एंड वॉट आर द पैरामीटर्स दैट वी नीड टू फॉलो वाइल ट्रेडिंग इफ यू आर डूइंग ट्रेडिंग ऑन ऑप्शन सो यू मस्ट फॉलो दैट आर टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक आई विल गिव इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन जस्ट गो एंड चेक दिस आउट and uh, you once you will go and you will check the the how accurately we are uh, trying to you know uh, get the nifty next move and uh, today onwards what i uh, planned that uh, let me explain the option chain analysis that how you can do the option chain analysis uh, and how you do the deep dive analysis basically that there are lot of thing that we need to take care when it comes to the live trading so so i am going to make it effective in the live market also in the live market also i share some uh, live analysis you can go and check like i said uh, on uh, t- uh, telegram from now i would like to start uh, on daily basis a one shot video so that uh, it will help you uh, to plan out for tomorrow trading so let's see how it goes if i get good response definitely that will motivate me to create uh, you know every day a video but for now what i'll do i'll start making videos uh, frequently in two three days one video i will start like that way i will start uh, if i get good response definitely i will uh, start uh, making these videos on daily basis so this is def- this is going to definitely help you out so that what analysis we do basically let me explain you that what we do is we we do option chain analysis in the live market also pre market also and post market also we do it so that we can plan out our next day trading moves so without wasting your time let me go to the option chain analysis and one of one more thing i just want to explain that uh, this is my first video i'm recording in english and uh, please uh, pardon me if i you know make some mistakes because uh, i'm making this first time so might be uh, i make some mistakes and i'll try to improve them if you have any uh, suggestion please comment me in the comment box box definitely i'll reply on to them and i'll also use hindi in the uh, while speaking so i'll i'll, I'll try to make it as much as uh, understandable right so that you can uh, understand i'll try to make it as easy as possible i have uh, got so many uh, queries that uh, sir, please if you if you make uh, some videos in english because i have seen all your videos in hindi so there are people who requested uh, to start something or at least make some videos in english some demo or any the tool you use so from now onwards i'm trying to make videos in english for some time and uh, i will also make some videos in hindi like i do but uh, i'll just you know keep changing the language in between so let's start with option chain analysis that is very important and uh, please if you have any queries or any suggestion please comment me and you can also directly uh, message me on my whatsapp number but if you post on the youtube so that will help me out i i'm thinking that i will monitor all those comments and i'll try to explain on the comment section so that it can help others also because if you if you only message me so i'll i'll explain you only and that that is going to help you only but if you comment any question so that that question might be for others also so that can help other also so let's start something how to uh, do the option chain analysis i'm also planning some uh, webinar for this uh, the deep dive analysis for option chain and how you can do that along with the price action things in the live market so let's understand that how you need to do the uh, post market analysis or the pre market analysis so now i'm going to explain the option chain analysis i have already opened the option chain you must uh, be able to see it now so if you see this is the option chain the nsc option chain it is available and however we have uh, you know dedicated sheet where we get the data from the global data feeds and we can do but that's not the live 
as of now so uh, from the global data feeds we get the data only live market so we do the live analysis in the live market with the global data feeds only for now uh, we you we will use an sc option chain data that is all, that is actually uh, you know uh, everyone can use it and this is an sc option chain Every, you know about it i don't need to tell you uh, it's a simple you can see that the here is uh, the link if you want you can just simply go and check that where you can simply find the option chain analysis and uh, here uh, you will see the uh, the at the money level so i am going to explain you here that how to do the analysis for the next day so what we need to check we need to check this what is the at the money level this is the at the money level here this is 15750 right so what we'll do we will check three strike price down three strike price up and their moment so three strike price up basically if you see this one this one and this one 15600 650 and 700 and the same just check three strike price up 800 850 and 900 so these three strike price we need to you know check all the moments what happened here we will also check where the major oi got created and where the maximum oi is there so let's check first where is the max oi so where is the max oi so you will see in this section there is uh, this is the oi se section here and we'll find out in the uh, this is the call call section so first we'll check the calls calls uh, max oi so let me find where is the maximum oi uh, build up uh, we'll see we if if i look at so the maximum oi i can see 60000 right here and this is uh, 16000 uh, strike price so six, at the 16000 strike price we see the maximum change in OI, maximum oi is 60414 so for now we'll just circle it out and uh, we'll discuss about in a, a couple of minute uh, now i will find uh, in put side where is the maximum oi is there So let's see, fifteen thousand seven hundred. Here is eighteen forty eight forty. So I do see it's forty eight uh, here, here. You will see, you will see, right? So here I see forty eight thousand three hundred fifty eight, right? So what does that mean? So that need to understand. So here is the maximum change in OI till now for this expiry, right? I'm talking about the tenth June expiry. So this option option chain is for. 10th June expiry that is day after tomorrow that's coming Thursday. So here is maximum change OI is uh, at 40 uh, at uh, it is at 15,700. So what does that mean? I will explain you. So 48,000 the maximum change in uh, maximum OI basically, and uh, that is at 15,700. So now understand. So the maximum change in OI if you look at the call side there is. Built on there is maximum change maximum change in OI we see in the call side at sixteen thousand at this level. Do you see that right? So it is very far, far from the uh, far from the ATM at the money level, right? So this is this is something that we do not need to look at every time for the next moment. This is something they, these are these, these you can see the maximum change in OI the whoever traded at this uh, strike price. So we will look at we'll look at in the com in the combination of uh, calls and put OI and I'll explain you how you can uh, do how you can see that. So first, if I talk about uh, the maximum change in OI at sixteen thousand and the put side, the maximum change in OI is forty eight thousand. So why why there is too much difference between uh, call side and put side? right so why there is a difference so I, i'll explain you that what what the trader mindset is here that uh, they are thinking that if nifty goes up start moving up so it might go 15800 then it might go up to 8, 850 900 950 and they are thinking the mo majority of trader thinking that 16000 is the safe bet to play right so they have Uh, then the writing at the sixteen thousand level, they because they think that uh, this week uh, uh, Nifty might not touch sixteen thousand strike price. So that's why they have uh, done the writing at the sixteen thousand level. And now what what uh, put writer thinks here? So put writer thinks here that Nifty also can go up because they, they did the put writing here at uh, 
15,700 level and they aggressively uh, did the writing it's as compared to if you see uh, it's 60,000 and here is 58,000 almost uh, it's just 10,000 difference so they have done uh, they they have a mindset that nifty is going to up in upcoming day so that's why they they did the call writing in the far, uh, in the far otm and uh, they did the put writing at the near otm so that that clearly indicates that nifty might go 100 200 300 points up from this current current level so this means this you got it i hope you got this point that uh, this max max oi you can see it here at 15 7 and 16 so these and this if you analyze this put writing and this call writing you must understand that there are traders thinking that nifty may go now let's come to the another part of this because this is something that we can see it that everybody can see it now i'm going to tell you that uh, there are some other things that we ne also need to take care while doing analysis uh, this option chain right so what we need to check here that let's talk about now near the atm near the atm we can see this is uh, here uh, uh, most of the put writers are here so the next thing that if i if i find the next maximum oi i can find out uh, in the uh, put side i can find out at uh, this is 40000 here right 40000 maximum change in oi data at 15500 that making me trigger right that that is a trigger point that why there is so much put writing here so there that means that if that it it breaks if 15700 breaks it might go down to 15500 after this the majority of trader also think that it can it can drag it uh, i mean nifty can drag it to 15500 level so this is one point that we need, will uh, will discuss now uh, i have uh, found uh, this here the maximum change in y at 15500 that is 40000 just as compared to this it's a bit uh, lesser but yes it is it has some weight is here so now let's talk about uh, in the call side here now call side where i do where i do see at the nearby uh, atm so let me talk about uh, 15800 and when i see 15800 change in oi here i see there is 53423 so that making me more and more and more you know i can what what i should say that uh, it also triggering me that why there is max change in y also the second max change y that one is very far one is very near so why 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 it is that so let me explain you one thing here so if i talk about this one and this one so i can null uh sorry not this one i can do this with this one so forty thousand max y is here far otm 60,000 here that is also far OTM so this we don't have to do anything with this because these are very far so we are not going to get any help with these with these two guys right this one and this one so whoever uh, did the put writing here call writing here they they know it that nifty is not going to nifty might go uh, might trade between this level so if they are doing making any strangle so they are going to get benefit of the premium so they they have taken their their position here just to eat the uh, time decay or the theta value they want to earn it so so these two data is not for us so because we'll do if we'll do the option buying so what we need to uh, look at we look at the near atm what has happened today and what is the possibility so so in in this uh, 16000 and 15500 these two these two strike price has got the maximum change in y that that uh, definitely we can understand now so now uh, let me talk about this max change in y and uh, today if you see 15800 strike price there are 15000 change in y got added this one so this is again 15000 at the 15800 and uh, after here after uh, 15700 i can see 44000 is here so again this is again a triggering thing that why at 15600 there is a another huge oi data so so if you see this one and this one i mean this one 15, 15443 at uh, 58 15800 so there are traders who thinks that nifty may go down and 
that's why they did call writing at the very aggressive level so this is basically a triggering point that why there is you know uh, 15000 got added today and uh, accumulated basis you will see that 53423 is there right at 50000 15800 so so if you'll see uh, all these uh, 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 strike price so here we see we see that this is very far so we don't know, we don't need to do anything with that but but if you check the atm levels 15800 has got maximum change in oi and uh, max oi also so that is also a trigger point that ma majority of trader also think i mean who are you know taking the position and who created this position they are very sure that nifty will not go 15800 i mean above 15800 and again if you see if you go down 15750 700 and there are traders who thinks that if it breaks 15800 breaks uh, 15700 there there is a put writing so if they think that if that breaks the same same uh, kind of quant quantity we can see in max change oi uh, in form uh, in the form of oi we see here at 15600 so there is a possibility that if 15700 breaks up we might see 15650 and 600 so there is a hurdle between i would say 7600 to 650 there is a hurdle so if it breaks what happen if it breaks 7000 so if it breaks 15700 we might see 15650 very soon right that that i'm talking about the tomorrow right and and if it breaks if it 15650 get you know if it breaks then what the next possibility we can see there is a support at 15600 this point where we see the maximum change in y is 44000 so the possibilities are very high that nifty can drag down tomorrow because we see 15800 Uh, has max change in oi and 15713 uh, that is a change in oi here so that uh, change in oi got added today also that means 15000 contracts got added today that means the, uh, the uh, there are traders who thinks that nifty may not uh, go beyond 15800 that may go down further from here right so so 15800 is very crucial point if it, it if it cross then we might uh, see you know sharp up move but there is a hurdle bit uh, at 15750 if 750 then 700 if 700 breaks then we might see 65 650 and 600 and this is something which i am thinking tomorrow that tomorrow nifty may break 7000 or may break 650 also that kind of data it is creating at least telling and i hope you understand that what the logic behind all those analysis and and if you want to uh, understand uh, these analysis in deep so i would suggest you please uh, go to our telegram channel in the live market i also share uh, the option chain analysis data in the live market based on this because see this is the possibility that i'm thinking that tomorrow it may happen but what happens the data might get changed every now and then when the market is live so because if they put right if if they if the trader are thinking here that uh, nifty may go down but if the scenario get changed tomorrow so they will book the profit they will do the short covering and they will start uh, you know selling calls Uh, OTM. So it is very important to look at uh, the uh, current date. I mean the live uh, data also. This is an uh, idea that it, this uh, post market analysis uh, when you do for the an option chain. So it gives you an idea that what is the possibility, what are the uh, major trader are thinking right now, and what is the possibility for the next day. So for now, if I summarize this, so I I need to say that uh, Nifty may. Uh, go down fifteen thousand, uh, may breach fifteen thousand seven hundred or six hundred fifty levels. Uh, uh, we may see tomorrow. So this is the uh, summary of this analysis that Nifty looking bearish for now. But if any case, if Nifty uh, cross this fifteen thousand eight hundred level, then we can see further up move. But the possibilities possibilities are very high that Nifty may drag down. tomorrow or day after tomorrow we might see the 600 or 650 or 600 levels we may see in couple of days so thank you guys i hope you you like this analysis and please pardon me because this is my first video that i have recorded in english i must have made some mistakes so please forgive me for that i will try to improve in future
but yes if you have any suggestion any queries and if you want to ask anything please comment me i will definitely reply on to them thank you for watching keep learning keep earning thank you guys